Today, someone from the Video Creators community is going to walk you guys through how to use the open broadcast software, how to set it all up so you can record your screen, your video game footage, whatever you're doing on your computer, along with your microphone and a little square of you from your webcam, little video of yourself also, that's coming up. Hello people from Video Creators. My name is Nathaniel, I'm 19 years old and uh, I'm living in the Netherlands. And maybe you can hear that from my accent, and I think you can, and that sucks. But I can't do much about that. I have a YouTube channel called Natey944, also known as Natey, and I'm doing a lot of gaming videos on that, and I'm also doing a lot of virtual reality. So if you want to take a look at my channel, feel free to do that, there is a link in the description. But anyway, today I'm going to give you some tips, or you could also call it a tutorial about open broadcaster software. And now you think, what is that? Well, open broadcaster software is a program that you can use for video recording and live streaming. And now you think like, how much does it cost? It's completely free, so that's awesome. So a few examples of what you can do with this program are you can record your screen. So you can do a screen capture, you can do some tutorials with it. You can show your YouTube channel as well. Um, you can also record your voice, so you can record your microphone and edit a little bit. So that's also really nice. And you can use it for recording your games. And that's the point I want to talk about. So let's go to the program and then I will show you how to set up a little video with a game, a webcam and also a microphone. So let's take a look. So this is how Open Broadcaster looks. Looks kind of boring, I know, but if you know how it works, then it's really, really cool. Um, first of all, we are going to the settings because before we record a video, you always have to check out the settings. Please notice that I'm going to go through this really quick because it's a lot of work to uh, explain this in detail. So we are going to go through this really quick. First of all, put your language on English or your own language, put setting profile, Put your name here, I, I keep it on untitled because it doesn't really matter what you fill in there. Also enable cursor over projector, that's also really important, so put it on as well. Click on apply and let's go to the second one, encoding. So the encoder should be on 264 because uh, it's, it's an mp4 file and you can edit it afterwards really easily in uh, Adobe Premiere for example. So that's why I would put it on that. Do the quality balance on 10 and then turn on CBR. Uh, put the maximum bitrate on 8000 and enable the CBR padding as well. Put the codec for your audio on AAC, the format on 48 kilohertz and the bitrate on 192 and the channel on stereo. So then click on apply again and then let's go to the broadcast settings. The broadcast settings are really important because with this you choose if you want to live stream or you want to record something on your computer. So I would choose for file output because I'm using this for my recordings. I'm not using it for live streams. So let's click on file output. Uh, choose your file path where you want to save the files. Um, I have this one. And then you can also choose your start recording hotkeys. I'm not using that as well, but you can use this. It's really easy. Then you can just click one button and then you are recording, you know. So click on apply again and let's go to video. Um, on video, you can choose your video card choose NVIDIA or whatever your video card is. Choose for the base resolution for a full HD, so 9020 by 1080. Choose the resolution downscale. Um, you are not downscaling this, just keep it on full HD. If it's lagging or going slow, then choose a lower one here. Click on the filter on Langsas best detail, 36 samples. This has to do with the pixels, so how the quality is of your video. I would put it on the highest one. Put your frames per second on 60. If you're gaming, I would even put it higher, but this is just a basic uh, one. And if you are doing some screen capturing, I would put it on 30. Um, disable IRO is also a really important function. Keep it on if you're a gamer. Um, then save it again and let's go to audio. Here you have to put on your speakers. It's in Dutch here, loudsprekers, but in uh, English it's speakers of course. So this is speakers. Put it on speakers and your microphone should be here. So choose your webcam microphone or your normal microphone depends on what you have turn it on there the rest here is not really important you can change some settings here but i'm not really using them so click on apply again go to advanced if you are doing this the right way then your video is almost perfect so um, click on use multi-thread optimizations click on process priority class 
Uh, put it on normal, scene buffering on 400, allow other modifiers on hotkeys, put encoding profile on high, use CVR, allow 61 to 120 frames per second. If you want to have more frames per second, you have to turn this on because then you can change it here in video, you know. So the rest of those settings here are not really important. You can experiment with them a little bit if you want to try them out. Um, save it again and then you can also change your microphone a bit with the noise gate so if you have too much noise in your microphone then uh, you can change a little bit here but uh, I already did that so I don't have to do that again so that's all the settings you have and now we are going to the fun part because the program is still a little bit boring you know so what you have to do here is add a scene so you want to add a video here um, click on add scene and fill in your YouTube channel or however you want to call it I call it video creators because this video is on video creators you know so I'm adding it here now click on preview stream because you want to see your scene and as you can see it's black you don't see anything you can only see the audio uh, moving a little bit and also my speakers so this is what you hear on my monitor or my computer so we don't want to have a black video so let's add a source so you can add a source you can choose out of uh, a monitor capture that means that you're screen capturing um, and you can also choose for game capture and that's what we are going to do I click on game capture you can call it a name as well I call it game capture and now you can choose a program that you want to record so I'm going to choose my game I have a game here um, it's called don't starve um, now I click on ok you can change some stuff here as well I would just keep it like this now we have a game as you can see but now I only have the game I also want to add a webcam or face cam to this video so what do I have to do I have to go to sources again I have to add a new um, source and that's going to be the video capture device because that's my webcam you can choose your webcam here you can change a lot of stuff here as well I would just keep it like it is and then press OK as you can see you see my face right now and it's really big so what you do is you click on edit scene and now you make it smaller like this it's it's moving a little bit so you can put it in the corner like real gamers do you know so I have it in the corner right now now press Control Alt and then keep it like that and then you can crop it a little bit as well. So this is my whole uh, setup already. I only have two scenes. You can add even more stuff. You can e even add images. So I could add an image here. Wait a second. Let's just add a random image I have. Uh, let's see, uh, for example, my logo um, here. Well, I can put that here as well. I can, I can put as many images or webcams or whatever I want in here. So if you're happy with the result, you can stop previewing it and then you can just start recording the video and now it's recording it and then stop it again. And then you have the file and then you are done and then you can edit it in Adobe Premiere or another program or just upload it immediately to YouTube. That's also possible. So yeah, that was my tutorial. I hope you liked it. And now I have a question for you guys, of course, and that's about live streaming. So are you using a lot of live streams if yes then um, how are you interacting with your subscribers because sometimes you're live streaming for hours and then you have to keep them watching your live stream and sometimes that's really hard so I would like to hear from you guys what you are using to to keep the live streams interesting and if you are not using live streams then why are you not using that I'm also curious about that and why should you subscribe to video creators well it's because this channel has so many tips and tricks for your YouTube channel that you never heard about before and if you are really listening to their tips and you are using them for your channel you are really growing and, and see the difference and people get more happy on your channel so it's really to to grow your channel and it's really nice those tips that that's my opinion about it but anyway this is it those are my last words I'm kind of emotional right now that I have to end this video but uh, yeah that was it and uh, well as I always say and I see you guys next time.